Clearly the pick is made. Levi Sterling. Interesting. High school pitcher, but not any that we talked. Levi Sterling. Um, the consent, like Jim, Jim, uh, Jim Olytics has him as at fifty-five. Okay, it's about where Pipeline is. At. Um, yeah, he's fifty-five on Pipeline, sixty-eight on Fangraphs, fifty-eight, fifty-eight on Pipeline, fifty-five on Baseball America, but fifty-five overall. Um, yeah, let's take a peek at Jake, uh, uh, Levi pitcher from Cali, Levi <laughs> Sterling. Yeah, definitely not somebody who was on my radar with this pick. Oh, oh, but, but, oh, okay. So, I mean, Notre Dame high school. He's also Hunter Green. young. Hunter Green came from there. John Carlos Stan came from there. He's also young. He's 17. Um, six, five, two Oh two. Fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. Um, he's already thrown his fastball ninety two range, touching ninety four. He can uh, really spin the baseball with a plus eighty mile per hour curve, and he throws strikes for an effective uh, mid eighties sweeper. Changeup is an, emer an emerging pitch and can eventually give him a fourth above average uh, or better offering. There were times this spring when his stuff trended in the wrong direction, though some scouts felt that might have been a matter of fatigue from playing shortstop regularly. Um, his athleticism helps him repeat his delivery. He should be a solid strike thrower. Um, there should be more in the tank velocity-wise as he matures. Uh, committed to University of Texas. Uh, yeah, he... Uh, I mean, just looking at the scouting report, high school arm from California, 17, 6, 5, like is a projectable arm with good control. Looks like a good pick to me, to be honest. <laughs> like, I'm so I'm, I'm cool with that on the opposite side of this, right? We're Tommy tanks, Tommy tanks because X, Y, Z on the opposite side of this, for all the reasons I talked about early on in this draft, it's why I like it. I trust this team at this point in time, the way they've shown to develop pitching. They went out and got this kid clear. There's something they see in him. So, let it happen. Again, like if this is a true pitching factory, like we talked for all the reasons we mentioned about Hunter Griffin, like if mm -hmm. they can develop him, then those those next wave of guys that can be trade chips, like that's who he's going to replace. Like your Hunter Barcos and whatnot, you know, if, if those going to end up being trade chips because you need to acquire somebody and you already yeah. have all those guys up there, he's eventually going to replace those. So... I still like it. No, I mean, as far as like from a projectability standpoint, like you, I like say he hasn't even turned 18 yet. So right. there's so much more room to grow with this guy. Um, fan graphs in a month and a half still. He's a September baby. Yeah. Like he's still got time to go. Um, but just, uh, just another quick, this is, so that was the MLB pipeline scouting report. I read earlier fan graphs, um, skinny six foot five, righty relatively advanced repertoire, um, effortless delivery, short, repeatable arm stroke, especially for a size fastball was in the upper eighties last fall with team USA 92 to 93 this spring. So he's already gained some ticks from, from last fall. Secondary pitches all have distinct shape and movement. He lives around the zone with them, but lacks precise command. None of the secondary weapons are particularly nasty right now. Requires projecting uh, on him throwing everything a little bit harder. Lower variance high school prospect with back end starter projection is what uh, is what Fangraph says. So cool. Yeah. I, I I don't. Like I said high school. I, I high school arm there. I'm I'm completely good with that. 